So recently, whenever I've been looking for new ideas, new inspiration for making beats, my natural instinct is to just lean towards watching new tutorials, watching new producers, watching some of their cook-up techniques, their workflow. That normally just works for me. And yeah, more recently, whenever I've been doing that, I've just been running into Yeet videos left, right, and center. But whenever I see them, I just scroll past, find something different. I don't know why, I just I just do that. I've had a few of you guys requesting that I make some Yeet kind of beat, but I'm not gonna lie, I honestly don't really know what it sounds like. I think I might have heard a few songs in the past, but nothing really comes to memory when I think of Yeet. But today, I'm gonna change that. So Today, I'm gonna to figure out what Yeet Beats are, what makes up a Yeet Beat, and hopefully by the end of the day, I'll be able to make a Yeet Beat from scratch. So yeah, I haven't actually got that much time on my hands, so yeah, let's get started. All right, first things first, I'm gonna get some help from the Discord family. They've always got some good gems in there for me. Yo, I'm gonna need your guys' help today. I'm trying to learn how to make beats for Yeet. I've no clue where to start. Any pointers, send. Two hours later. Yeah, serum, serum packs. Yeah, I don't have serum. <laughs> Actually, I think I've got some decent alternatives like Anna, Analog Labs, etc, etc. Yes, for sure. Anna is good. Perfect. We're in business. Okay, so I've got the VSTs. Now I need to actually get some reference tracks to actually, you know, hear what I need to make. Any reference tracks you think I should listen to? Pop in. Still counting. Still counting. Get busy. Okay, boom. Sorted. Thanks to the guys in the Discord, man. <laughs> Absolute lifesavers. Yeah, let's get to it. Alright, here we go. I need my drugs. I need my load. Before problems come up. Man, that's hard. That's hard, man. Okay, next one. It's kind of hard, man. I'm liking that the synthy sounds in there, man. It's like gray. Okay, last one. Still counting. Damn. Okay, so for these Yeet beats, they seem to be heavily synth based on the melody side of things. So I'm going to base a lot of the melody around that. I did also listen to a few more and they had a lot of chime bells in there. You know, those realistic bell sounds, just one shots. And then after that, we just got some nice repetitive hard trap drums, which I like to make anyway. So yeah, this is a match made in heaven for me. So for a lot of these Yeet beats, it's just some like thick, square, synthy, poly kind of sounds. Something like that. So let's go and lay some chords down with this. Something real simple but catchy. And then we can move on, maybe add a couple of layers. Okay, that's gonna be a sick lead. I was gonna start with the chords, but that actually works better as a lead. So yeah, let's go in and build the chords underneath there. Yeah, that's cool, man. It's nice and bouncy. Try and knock it down an octave though. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'm liking those chords, man. Real dissonant, real like, a lot of tension to them. Easiest way to get that is when you're putting in your chords. Got this basic chord right here. Instead of just keeping it as a normal minor, take this one down by a semitone, bring this one up by a semitone. You know, just figure out the vibe you want for yourself. But that's just a really good way to get that tension in there and get that kind of dark vibe. So I'm liking that, man. But I don't like that lead anymore. So what I want to do is just really mess with it, put portal on it, and just make it sound really trippy and just, and just different. Yeah, that blends in a bit nicer. Okay, last thing I want to do is just put some kind of lead on this. It just seems to be like a real heavy synth, real full sounding synth. It's very like Pierre-esque kind of vibes, you know, where it just kind of loops quite quickly, like every four bar or something like that. So yeah, let's go find a lead, man. Maybe a different preset. Sounds crazy. I honestly think that's our loop right there. What I might do is pitch this up a little bit. So I'm just gonna add some pitch shifter to this, man. Yeah, we got our loop right there, man. The hi-hats kind of have like this like double hit in like a lot of those beats. It kind of starts off like like very repetitive, but it has those double hits quite often. So yeah, let me get that in. And I think I've got the perfect hi-hat for this, which is in my essentials kit, hi-hat 13. All right, now the 808, now's the tricky part. The 808s kind of switch up a little bit. There's normally like one or two different 808s in each beat. So I'm gonna try and switch this up. There's normally like a softer one, and then it kind of contrasts and goes to like a really distorted, crunchy kind of 808. So yeah, let's just see what we can put together. 
one seems kind of cool. And then we got this distorted spins one right here as well. Those two could work, I think. And then we can go that distorted spins. Mm. Yeah, that sounded sick though, man. I think just a kick, maybe a few perks, and then we're going to be done with this beat. I'm going to come back into the Essentials kit for the perks. Yeah, that could work. One more. Yeah, that's a cool one as well. I like it, man. I like it. Okay, kick. All right, now I'm gonna try and do something that I haven't actually done before, and that is to do with the arrangement of these kind of beats. So I've just downloaded this free plugin from D Blue called Tape Stop. What I'm gonna do is have like a tape start to this beat. So what I'm gonna do is just render out the start of the beat, reverse it, and then play it into the tape stop, and then reverse that. So in theory, the beat should then start slow and then do like a tape start kind of effect, which is what I'm trying to go for. I need to reverse it, then do the tape stop. If I take that reverse tape stop, drag it in, reverse that, that should work. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. What we could do as well is put some reverb on that tape start. I'm gonna put like a thin plate and then just put an automation clip on there, make sure it drops out right here. All right, I think that's it, man. For my first attempt at yeet, I don't think that's too bad. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. A little bit of a different vibe today. But other than that, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.